So I'm spending a little bit of time thinking about risks to the concept of indexing. Now, I hope the people back at the ranch are doing the same thing. Uh, the first one is we're taking in billions and billions and billions of dollars at very full market prices, not necessarily overvalued stock prices, but highly valued stock prices. How will those investors feel when the decline comes? And it will come. It always comes. You know, we could easily have a 20% decline. And since markets do overdo anything, it could easily be 30%. And then it'll be maybe a great value. Who really knows? I don't. Um, number two. So that's, that's, that's the one, one of the risks. How, how will shareholders react to a bear market? Having you know, they've taken all their money out of the other funds and put it in ours, index funds. And uh, how will they react? Number two, and there's some things being written about this now, is the concentration of indexing in three firms. And we all own, well, we own about 6% of the market. State Street owns about 2.5%, BlackRock about 6%, same as we do. And yet, it's a big difference in those three holdings. What does one make of it? I don't know. But we're the only one that is focused on traditional index funds, the standard garden variety buy it and hold it index funds. And those two are dominated totally. State Street's 100% really exchange traded funds. And, uh, and I guess BlackRock is 85% exchange traded funds. Does that make a difference? What happens when people start trading these things? Will they do well? Will they do ill? How will those markets hold up? Those are big questions. And it will be focused on index funds when that happens, because that's what's driving the entire exchange traded market. And then there is the randomness of performance. Think about this. Every year we look at the performance data and we say the average fund was up X, let's say 6%, and the index was up 8. And those are the, the industry number is the number of funds. So if you get a few very good performing funds, it doesn't help. If it was, if it was market weighted, market cap weighted, it would be very different. So that can turn against you. If the small cap funds, little funds, they do much better. They won't do much better for very many people, but they will make the index look like it's underperforming when, in fact, it's not. So how will we deal with that? I don't know. And then there's 10% rule. 40 Act says, 1940 Act, Investment Company Act, says that no mutual fund can own more than 10% of any corporation, essentially. We own six. What happens when you get to 10? Spend a minute thinking about that, and then I will take you to a famous comment from the great Donald Rumsfeld, another fellow Princetonian, but not the nicest guy I ever met. And uh, he says, I've talked to you about the known unknowns. What about the unknown unknowns? <laughs> and that's a good question, which I, I will now answer for you. I'm only kidding. <laughs>